Hey Polish fans, it's Caroline again. Welcome to another video here at Wild Moon Lacquer. And in today's video, we are doing the top 20 nail polishes that I wore in 2020. So I believe this idea was started by Walker over at Olive Ave Nails. I'll try to make sure to link her channel down below. And I thought it was a really fun idea to sort of recap the year with some favorites. Some of these I even wore twice, which is pretty amazing considering how many polishes I wore last year. It definitely was higher than I feel like I've worn in previous years. I was making more of an attempt to branch out. And as many of you probably know, if you've watched other videos that I've been trying to sort of stick with a theme for the seasons, which I haven't done in the past. So let's jump right into the top 20 in no particular order, although I did sort of arrange them by season. So we're going to start with some of the ones that I wore in the spring and summer months and then transition into the fall. So first up, we're going to talk about Revlon. This one is called Fairy Dust. And this one I wore a few times. It is this really beautiful minty green with a scattered holographic. And what I really liked about this one is the speckled effect that it had on the nail. As you can see, it's not very linear and it's holographic. I think a lot of people were disappointed because they advertised them as hollow, which I think was sort of a mistake, but they're really cute. The color is really fantastic. It's a nice sort of dusty color on the nails. And again, that speckled look was just a favorite of mine. I wore this a few times in my spring manis and really, really enjoyed it. So this one stood out as a favorite that I definitely had to pick. And again, that was Revlon's Fairy Dust. Moving on to an indie. This one is from Fair Maiden and this is Force of Nature from Polish Pickup. This one was so amazing on the nail. I think you can get a taste of it from that swatch ring there, just how glowy and shifty and holographic it is. It's really, really beautiful. This has such an inner glow from those flakies and from that holographic. And as you can see, it's positively loaded with those gorgeous flakies. And what you're going to mostly see is sort of a green, blue, and aqua in those. And they definitely shift nicely. As you can see, they sort of have that yellow gold hint to them at certain angles and again that hollow plays off so nicely with those flakies it's really beautiful together this one was such a stunner on the nails and definitely a favorite so fair maiden force of nature another absolutely favorite from early in the year was from native war paints this one is the gleam in your eyes is so familiar a gleam another one from polish pickup this one from July 2019 and this one sort of reminded me of one of my other favorites from them which was their I think July oh goodness I don't remember what year but it was this sort of similar themes this light sort of dusty pink with just a pinch of purple and then loaded with a whole bunch of shimmer and holographic so it was very shifty very glowy and this one is in the same ballpark. I actually haven't done a side-by-side -side comparison, which I guess I should get around to, but this one is so glowy. And again, that holographic flare on the nail is really stunning. I love the sort of blue flash that's in there. That really is amazing. And then you get sort of this peach glow as well from that holographic flash such a stunning polish this one looked really beautiful on the nail it was sort of a distraction while you were driving to be honest it was so so beautiful so that was native war paints the gleam in your eyes is so familiar a gleam another one that i wore multiple times is this one from polish and this one is called Zakora. and this was one of the first polishes that i wore that was in this crelly white formula and it's definitely grown on me. This particular one is loaded with these multi-chrome flakies that sort of range in colors. What I'm mostly seeing is sort of this green to bronze with a little bit of purple on the nail, but there's a whole bunch of different colors in the bottle. As you can see, there's sort of that fuchsia and a little bit of gold. And I thought this was absolutely beautiful for the spring. It looked like sort of flecked flowers on the nail, which at the time was what I was going for. So I definitely pulled this out on a few occasions and was really happy with it. And as I said, this sort of opened my eyes to the white Crelly realm. Uh, before that, it wasn't necessarily something that was on my radar or ones that I wore, but this ended up being a favorite of mine. So this one was Polish Sukora. 
Next we have one from Tonic. This one is called Mab and this one is another really glowy, glowy polish. You can tell I have a theme going here. This one was so gorgeous on the nail. It is this beautiful iridescent shimmer, again loaded with some holographic flare in there. You can see the glow from that shimmer. It is such a light, beautiful, sort of dusty periwinkle, leaning a bit more towards the um, purple side of things, but it definitely has a blue flare to it. Really beautiful color, and again, that glow is definitely what captured my attention. It is so stunning on the nails, and again, just I'm going to be repeating myself, it's another favorite for 2020. So that was again, Tonic Mab. One of my very earliest polishes that I wore that year was this one from Emily Damali. This one is called Out Cold, and you guys, this one was so impressive. Do you see that glow? It is so gorgeous. This one was a one-coater for me, so opaque. I didn't notice any staining. I would probably suggest if you are prone to staining to having a really good base coat underneath it, maybe even doubling up because this is very, very opaque, but you guys the color payoff is spectacular like i said this was a one coater for me beautiful stunning icy blue brilliant icy blue on the nails and just loaded with the metallic flakies i think they're that those blue metallic flakies they are stunning i just have no words it's it's a, an amazing polish such a glowy polish and again this one made a lasting impression on me because of how opaque it was and how brilliant it was on the nails so again this one was emily damali out cold another one that i wore multiple times is from a brand that no longer exists unfortunately and that was from inspirations and this one was called luke 2343 this is such a beautiful polish that i actually bought a backup bottle of it and i'm very glad that i did at the time i was actually looking for a polish exactly like this sort of this pink with a, a very strong blue glow and then she also added these cute little metallic pink glitters in there which adds a nice little addition on the nail and again that blue glow in here more glow you guys it's definitely something that captures my attention in a polish and and is definitely a favorite finish of mine in a polish you add a glowing component like that whether it's a shimmer or a flake and i am all for it so as you can see in the bottle this is a lovely um forgive the fuss <laughs> this is a lovely pink and if you've watched my channel more than once, you'll know that I'm pinks are not necessarily a favorite, but I almost have to backtrack myself on that because uh, some pinks are, are making it to my favorites. As you can see, there's, there's a few that sort of, to me, fall into the range of the pinks. And most of the time it's when they fall into the pinkish side of purple. And again, with that glow, you add a blue glow to a polish and I'm all for it. So I did wear this one multiple times because it was such a beautiful polish, and I'm very happy to, that I do have a backup bottle of this so that I don't have to worry about being stingy about wearing it. So again, this one was from Inspirations, and that was Luke 2343. Oh, and I should say it was from the Maker's Dozen collab, so this was a limited edition, but I would say if you like this color, it's definitely worth tracking down. This is very beautiful. Up next was another favorite. I think I'm going to say that on every single one, obviously, because this is the favorites of 2020, but this is from Bees Knees, and this is for the Koalas. This came out for the charity polish for the Aussie fires that happened, and this one, you guys, was such a stunning polish. I actually really didn't know what to expect, except that it was a charity polish and it was purple, so I was all for it, but what was surprising about this was when I actually did get it on my nails, this polish has a bit of a shifting color to it and it's not a multi-chrome shift, it is just the type of color that when it's in different lights changes. So it is this purple with that beautiful flash in there, you can see that shimmer glowing away in there, again another glowy polish. And I'm not sure if it's the glow in there, the shimmer, or if it is just the base but the base changes to more blue more pink and more purple depending on the lighting that you're in so if you're in natural outdoor lighting it's going to look one way when you're driving in your car with maybe a light shadow on your hands it's going to look slightly different and then in indoor lighting it's going to look 
different. So I found this one to be absolutely entrancing on the nail, very different than what I was expecting and so much more to it than what I was initially expecting. I do wish I had a backup bottle of this. I should have gone back when it was still available and gotten one, but I did not. In any case, this was Bee's Knees Lacquer for the Koalas. Then we have a topper. I think this was the only topper that made it into my top 20 for 2020. This one is from Ethereal and this one is called Pegasi and this is also a charity polish. This one was so beautiful. It is this sort of cloudy base that is so loaded with shimmer and then it has flakies in it. And this one I used as a topper, I believe over the Bees Knees lacquer and it added even more depth to that change of color that I was seeing in the lights. Look at those gargantuan flakies in there. They're so huge. And this one is so versatile. This one is going to be going into my winter nail polish rack. I'm putting that together as you can see over here. It is growing and I will have to be narrowing it down because when my fall nail polish rack was about that size, I definitely didn't get around to wearing them all. But I wanted to pull out the polishes that I was interested in and then I will sort of tweak it as I go. But in any case, this one will most likely be going in there as one of my toppers for the season because this just seems to fit with that sort of icy, wintry look. So again, that was Ethereal Pegasi. One from a sort of a fairly new to me brand is this one from Essence. This one is in their Crystal Power collection. And this one is called Be Yourself. This whole collection, you guys, was very impressive. I got this one I have, which is sort of their, their purple. Then I got this one, which is their green metallic. And then this one, which is sort of a grayed out purple. As you can see, it's definitely not as vibrant as be yourself and I did get a few others but they aren't up there in my winter rack but in any case this one was beautiful on the nails you guys absolutely beautiful this is this metallic crystally purple color again with sort of this hint of pink to it. it's got just a pinch of pink and that metallic look to it looks amazing on the nail I really enjoyed this one again <laughs> that's why it's in my favorites <laughs> It, it is absolutely gorgeous. The metallic sheen on this on the nail looks really beautiful. Sort of a, a bit of a silvered metallic look to it, but it's definitely got an intense purpley pink color to it. So that was again by Essence. Be yourself. Next, we have one from Noodles Nail Polish, and this one is called Six Years. This came out for their six year anniversary, and this one is so beautiful. This one could actually go into my winter rack as well. It is this sort of soft pinkish gray purple. And then look at that mix of glitter, you guys. It is so cute. It is like light pinks, soft coppers or bronze. And then you've got some silver in there as well and then some shimmer she does these kind of polishes so well i love how she incorporates all different kinds of materials in them and they all work together beautifully and this one looks so soft and delicate on the nail i didn't put a top coat on my swatch here uh, so it is going to show up a bit textured on the nail but that's to be expected with a glitter polish but this one is so amazing on the nail. I, I think I do want to add this to my winter nail polish rack because I really enjoyed wearing this. It is one of those colors that you'll see me wearing quite a lot because it is this sort of soft, purpley, taupey, grayy color. And if you've watched my channel more than once, you'll know I absolutely adore polishes like that. So this one will most likely be showing up in my winter nail polish rack. And again, that one was Noodles Nail Polish, six years. Next, we have another one that I wore multiple times. This one is by Cadillacer, and this one is called Exhale. This one does have a little bit of settlement going down on the bottom, but it is absolutely stunning. This is this light, sort of minty spring green, and then look at those flakies. 
there is a bunch of this green multi-chrome flaky in there as well as orange glitter and that makes for such a beautiful look on the nail now i wore this a few times in the spring and it's that soft green base that lends itself to being such a beautiful spring polish and it looks so nice on the nail again another maker that does a really good job incorporating things like glitters and flakies together and this one is so soft and delicate on the nails those flakies add a really nice layer to the nail in this soft green coloration again sort of remind me of crushed flowers on the nail which makes it perfect for spring really nice color i don't wear greens all that often but this was a favorite of mine and again i did wear this more than once so this was from cadillacer exhale then we've got one from Lemming Lacquer. This one I'm going to uh, just let you guys read the label because again, I'm not sure how finicky YouTube is about the subject matter, but it's a beautiful, beautiful polish. I really enjoyed wearing this. It does need a good shake, however. But look at this color. It is so fun. I, it is sort of graying out a bit on camera. It is rather a brighter pinky purple sort of an orchid purpley pink and then look at all of those flakies in there then it also has a shimmer i think you can sort of see that pinkish red shimmer really nice now a lot of the the components didn't come through on the nail as you can see on the nail swatch i think the base was a little bit too opaque for most of them to show up as predominantly as they do in the bottle however that didn't really bother me because what i really liked about this was the base i mean this color i didn't really have many colors like it in my collection and this one made me want to go find more like it because it's such a fun color it looks really nice on the nail it's very sort of springy early summer and for me this is definitely more on the bright side than most of the colors that i have a tendency of being drawn to so it was nice to sort of open my eyes to uh, another color range and tone that i actually really enjoyed wearing so again, this one was by Lemming Lacquer, and again, you can read the label. <laughs> then we've got this one from Julep. This one is called Isabella, and this was another spectacular surprise because, very similar to the Bees Knees Lacquer, this is one of those colors that depending on the light that you see it in, it's going to look different. So this is Bluish Periwinkle, and that purple will come to play more predominantly in different lights. So again, it, it is not a multi-chrome base. It doesn't shift. However, the lighting affects how the color looks. So it's really fun because it is just a basic cream. However, you still get that fun of having it change depending on the lighting that you're in. And this was, a, like I said, just a spectacular surprise because I wasn't expecting that based on the bottle. So again, that one was from Julep Isabella. Next was my first solar polish. This one was from Cupcake Polish, and this was Game of Cones. Now the solar, I believe, is probably dead now at this stage. It was very, very mild when I wore it, but the reason why this one got to, to be on my, on my favorites is because this was the brightest polish that I've worn probably to date <laughs> and it's not even a neon i mean it's close to me this is very very close to a neon green but i had not worn a color like this before and it's definitely opened my eyes again to the possibility of wearing more colors like this because i really enjoyed it it was very fun and bright and summery so i definitely enjoyed it as you can see it does have some more particles in there as well so you've got some shimmers and my camera hates this color <laughs> but you can see some of the components that are in there you've got some shimmers and a little bit of very small glitter in there and this color just was so fun to wear so i had to include it in my favorites of 2020 so that was cupcake polish game of cones next we're getting into our fall manis this one is from pure ice this one is called In Vogue, and this one was definitely, definitely a standout of fall. And another one that has led me sort of on a quest to find more nail polishes in this specific range of Marsala. So this is absolutely beautiful. It is this, how I would describe it, is sort of this pinky, rosy terracotta, almost like a rosewood. Beautiful color and so flattering on the nail. It does come out a bit darker on the nail. I'm not sure if that's noticeable between 
the nail swatch and the bottle itself, but it was darker on the nail, but so flattering. I think that it could look good on all skin tones. It's absolutely beautiful. Again, another favorite of mine that I will definitely be pulling out and wearing next fall as well. So this was again, Pure Ice in Vogue. Next was another fall favorite. This was Darling Divas a Caramel Apple. Now this one I didn't even wear as a full mani, but it made such an impression on me, again, because of the color. Now I wore this as an accent nail in a sort of fall sunset mani, and I was surprised at how much I enjoyed this. I believe I got this because I was curious to see if it was similar to KL Polish Caramello, I believe was what it was called because everyone was raving about that for their fall rack. And since kale polish is no longer around, I was curious to see if this was somewhat similar in its tone and I don't have that. So I still can't do a comparison, but I was really surprised again with how much I enjoyed this one. It's very much outside my wheelhouse because this is sort of like a honey mustard sort of a color. It's sort of that orange with a mix of yellow and yellows as you probably have heard me say is not necessarily a color that i wear very often so this because it is a, a, an orange i was willing to give it a try and i was very very pleasantly surprised at how it looks on my skin tone the yellow in it is sort of isn't the the front color that you see it is definitely like a caramel like a, a honey mustard or a caramel and so you've got a bit of brown in there, a little bit of orange, and that yellow as sort of a back note. And then this particular one has a bit of the shimmer and glimmer. I think those are little glitters in there as well. So it was a very fun and surprising polish that I wore. And again, one that sort of opened my eyes to another color that I can wear more often. So this was Darling Divas Caramel Apple. Another one in the fall favorites was this one from Orly, and this was Act Your Shoe Size. And this was another one that was really surprising when I actually wore it, because with some nail polishes, you sort of go into it with one expectation, and even though it might not live up to that expectation, you end up enjoying it anyways for a completely different reason. And this one, I think I was expecting to be, again, sort of a, a rosewood sort of color, and as you can see, they are definitely different. The Orly is a little bit more on the dusty side. And because of that dustiness, it does come off on the nails as a little bit more towards the brown side of things. And because that wasn't really what I was expecting, I was a little bit at the time when I was applying it, a little bit ho-hum about it. But, but it really grew on me to the point of when I mentioned it in my monthly manis for this month, that it was one of my favorite manis of the year. And it definitely, definitely was. I will have to put that list together here shortly as well. But this one definitely made it to my top faves for 2020. Again, sort of this Marsala-y, rusty, brownish red. Really, really beautiful. So this is another one that is most likely going to be making a reappearance in my fall rack for this upcoming year. So that was again, Orly, act your shoe size. Next, we've got another fall one. This is from Color Club and this is Cosmic Fate. Now this is another one that I didn't wear as a full mani. This was in the same manicure as the Darling Diva, but this one made such an impression because it was so beautiful. Look at that hollow. This is a light sort of dusty apricot orange, but that hollow is what makes this polish. Look at how blingy that is. This is very, very spectacularly linear and the color was beautiful. I really liked how it looked on my skin tone and I really, really like how this looked. I didn't get a chance to wear this as a full mani uh, in, in the fall season, but I will definitely be pulling it out next fall to try it as a full mani because it was absolutely beautiful and it made an impression enough to make it to my top 20. So again, that was from Color Club, Cosmic Fate. And the last polish of the 2020 favorites is this one from Illyrian. This one is called Strange, and this one is another shifty, shifty polish. This is this sort of pinkish, dusty eggplant, and then it has a whole bunch of hollow. It has that green glow, which I believe shifts to this blue, and then the base of it also shifts. So this whole thing definitely fits its name of Strange, being that it is so, so shifty. The 
base seems to shift as well as the shimmer and it comes across so differently in different lightings so really really made an impression and was very very fun to wear just look at that again with the glow really 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 beautiful so again that one was by Illyrian strange and there you have it that wraps up my 20 favorites for 2020 make sure to comment down below if you had any favorites for that year and which one of these were your favorite make sure to like and subscribe for more nail polish videos here on my channel and i'll see you next time